All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to um, uh, what? We can get it. Welcome to the Ball and the Beautiful <laughs> podcast. Jen and Thang, let us. That's, I promise you all the words are going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> let us hear it. Uh, my name is Melissa. My name is Kevin Allen Fredericks III. I'm Angel. Thanks, Lee, in the building. We want to thank our sponsors. Ship Station and Masterclass. You'll hear more about them later on in the episode. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I know last week y'all seemed to, you know, I'm a little bit discombobulated today, but it's okay. We're going to get it together. Boom, boom. Get it together. Um, We have, uh, for uh, some of y'all, we're not going to end this without telling y'all for real, for real, but this is y'all pre-warning that we're telling y'all we are going to end it. They still saying <laughs> don't end it? No, someone was like, is it, it over? Why are they giving us the, the episode check, that we come got? Come check in July, see if a new episode is up. <laughs> <laughs> in August and September. Yeah, we, we, gave, them, y'all, we gave y'all the end y'all, date. It's been years now. It'll be over. Stuff ends. Your yeah. favorite TV show, it is. It sucks. Our episodes have gotten better since we announced it. And 1,000%. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> like the last six episodes of Seinfeld was, was heat. We like, we going to go out on a banger. We, we going to go, go out, out on, on a banger. On, on top. That's yeah. the only way to do it. I was trying to figure out the... Um, Live reschedule. Let me tell y'all. I'm about to tell y'all right now. We got ads all the way through May. There that you me, go. That means you're going to see us in May. All of May. Okay, let me go to June. Let one of them cancel. It's yeah. Listen. <laughs> we, got, we got ads all the way through June 17th. Okay, guys. That's the last episode. That's longer than I thought. I'm not going to lie to you. And we should take, all, <laughs> we should take the, all the furniture out and look around like the Fresh Prince. Oh. <laughs> June, just, the week of the June 17th. That's it. That's what the week after that, I'm going to be on. We're going to uh, stay in the last episode. Wallpaper yeah. come down. <laughs> Y'all, it was a good time. How do I? It will be in Mexico the next week. And then it's a dark, 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 dark. We will not. To what we used to have. Listen sorry. to that song. I'm sorry. The good times, and it's like noom dot slash. That made us laugh. <laughs> Stephen Curry. <laughs> you <laughs> gave me brandy. Yeah. Josh, find, Josh, find a way to make us disappear one by one. <laughs> Marcus went on to get another old school. Yeah. Angel shut booked up. the television show. You remember that? Shut, shut up. up. You shut up. Angel booked the television show. Hey, yo. <laughs> Listen, we became an international speaker all over the world. Yes. Kevin did more podcasts. <laughs> well, we let the bald and beautiful go, and Kevin is doing six more in its place. <laughs> That's exactly what's going to happen. We let it go so, so Kevin could rest and do six more. Exactly. <laughs> That song that all the BT movies ended on. It was Why awesome. just go get an old school though? Because <laughs> that that's where could, you would be the happiest. Everybody else went on just the, in the hood. Went on the, like, yeah. <laughs> I like this one. Yeah. Eddie Marcus, Winslow. Is Winslow. F 150s, man. I'd be wanting one, Marcus, but I know they, they the drive the classic train looks. Man, there's yeah. one right over here. They only move it on street sweeping days, otherwise, I wouldn't know it ran. <laughs> But that dog got gear shift. He he. Yeah. <laughs> You're a country bunker. You, you got it. the slam that clutch, dude. I thought about converting my Mustang over to a four speed so many times. This is a thing that can be done. Yeah. You gotta rip that tranny out. Yeah. You can convert. You can convert it. Absolutely. Swapping the engine. Mm-hmm. Not the engine, just the uh, transmission. transmission. Oh, I thought you were just Not saying something full. funny. Yeah. No. You no. Really Oh, you just swap out the transmission. I wait. What are we talking about? Oh, you I changing it from now? automatic? Taking the car from automatic listening. to manual or vice versa. Why would you switch? My nose is. Running. Oh, it's automatic now. It's an automatic now. Why would you go from automatic to manual? In a, in a muscle cars, it's uh, it's just more fun. It's so wait, more, do you have it's, to it's build a, a gear fun. shaft? No, they do all that. It's a it's a kit. You oh, just take okay. it and be like, hey, I want to swap it out. They were like, oh, Carlos come Miller back always talk week. about swapping engines out. Who's Carlos yeah, Miller? Engine. 85 South, Los. Oh. Yeah, yeah he got all uh, G body, uh, box yeah, style Chevys like and stuff. Right and box <laughs> Chevy, apparently, they, I call apparently those jigs are very popular in Dubai right now. You can't get a box Chevy in America because the, the Dubaians is buying them. I don't know what yeah. people from Dubai is called. What the heck is a, oh, the shape of a box? I don't know why they're called box Chevy. The square of the Caprice back in the day. The Caprice. All right, anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to take over your show. That's fine. No, we were great for the car stuff. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. <laughs> moving on to the first segment. Last week, today, Kev, anything noteworthy happened in your week last? Well, all of our kids went on spring break, so mm-hmm. uh, so noteworthy was. Well, is can we talk about WrestleMania? You can here? talk about whatever you would like to. 
It's okay. your world. We just live. I'll in talk it. about a WrestleMania here. And then, then then we can talk about other stuff on here's the thing. Well, something happened because we went to WrestleMania. <laughs> Wait, y'all just here's the, the thing. Oh, here's the but thing. We didn't talk about We didn't talk about We talked about J. Cole. Oh, he was like, we could just run another here's the thing with two guests. The thing is here. So Isaiah School just called me and was like, hey, we haven't seen Isaiah in a couple of days. Where is he? I was like, He's at the school. <laughs> what do you mean? She's like, he's not in his class. And I was like, he is. I dropped him off. She's like, where was he on Friday and Monday? I was like, don't worry about that. He was out of town. She's like, that's unexcused. Fine. Fine. <laughs> he's always going to graduate. <laughs> so then I FaceTimed him and he was like, I, I'm in school. I don't know. He turned and showed me the school. He's like, I'm with this teacher. They were trying to figure out yesterday. And, and yeah, yeah, mind your business, yeah, man. He, he the rock was Shut up. Him. Yeah, but he already got his college stuff. Leave my yeah, boy. I home. barely showed up my senior year. Stop calling me. Showed up on pizza day. Maybe he's That's selling it. drugs, and yeah. I need him. Okay, <laughs> maybe he's on the block. Yeah. Yeah. You hear me? So anyway, last week we went to Philadelphia for WrestleMania. I want to say something to my wife. I want to shout her out real quick. Not flying at the Buckcracker Don is cool. Wow. <laughs> wow. Melissa <laughs> refuses to take the first flight out. Because what's the Cause so what's the point? The oh, point usually for me is to get back to my family. Who's <laughs> first flight? Like, if you're working fine, but if you're on vacation, I'm not doing that. Now let me tell you the other point though, because from Los Angeles to Philadelphia is three hours and forty eight minutes. What our flight attendant said. Yes. From Philadelphia to Los Angeles is five hours and fifty nine minutes. There you go. Oh, Headwind man. gonna get you. So what the one of the points for me is if I leave at the buttcrack of dawn, I have a larger potential of sleeping more of the flight. We left at 10, I'm going to be awake. Mm -hmm. Now, my oldest son, bless that baby's heart, that boy will get on an airplane, put a jacket over his head, and, and will not he wake. Did. He Seatbelt, mm -hmm. jacket. Joe's jacket, by the way. Joe's jacket covered his face. Mm -hmm. We landed. The entire flight. Everybody starts moving. He takes the jacket off and takes the seatbelt off. No pee. No food. It don't matter time. what that time we leave. Impressive. That boy, I, listen, I, I'm going to get up and piss. Oh, you, somebody, you going to have to move. So oh, just God. so you know. I just sit in the aisle. Nah, I, my bladder ain't with it. That compression get up in my inside <laughs> right. and squeeze that pee out. I be wanting to just take Angel out with some chloroform. Like, she going to get up and I'm pee. On, got, I got to pee. God my, my bladder is all that, You better pee. hope that's all she got to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, because sometimes. Listen, doodling on an airplane is, is not ideal, but sometimes it got to be done. Because we sometimes. went to Tokyo one time, and I had messed up. I got that well, little sandwich little from the uh, oh yes, from yes. that little place. Angel have to go from here to Vegas. Yes, I would. Okay, now nah, Angel, <laughs> Marcus, you know, I said that flight was it was what eleven hours or nine hours for Tokyo. To Tokyo, yes. I got oh, now. I get that hour one. I said I can't do nine. <laughs> I might be able to do an hour and a half. I tried oh. to empty that out before I get me on the too. Plane. But that that egg salad, I don't uh -huh. know why I even tried egg salad uh, from the airport. What that thing got in there? It, it was a helicopter. It's I won't even out. drink orange juice when I uh, travel now because I know it might decide. Nah, my to go body, here my body won't let up. me go on no yeah. plane. I, I, yeah, I, I won't I even know. Now I step off the plane and be like. Hey, I didn't tell you this, but you got to go yesterday. Well, that, that's true. <laughs> that, that would be fine. But anyway, last week tonight, uh, we went to WrestleMania. <laughs> we went to WrestleMania. And when last I tell you, tonight. we started going yesterday. to wrestling because Isaiah was into Huge it. Fan. Melissa and I both, like most blacks, we watched when in the late 80s, early 90s, probably up until the Rock and Stone Code. And a lot of us fell off then around that time when John Cena and them came yeah. in. But our son was into it. So he was like, I think Raw came here or SmackDown, mm -hmm. and we went, mm -hmm. and Melissa had got great tickets, and it was such a fun time. Then we went to SummerSlam. It was even more of a fun time, and Ronda Rousey touched Isaiah's hand. Oh, yeah. So WrestleMania was in L.A. last year, mm -hmm. and we went and just had a blast. Mm -hmm. So this year, we went both nights. When I tell you, oh, my God. Did you have a time? It was oh, a good time. Angel and Marcus, people of the world. Time. The Rock wrestled. For like an hour. He did. Him and Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins and uh, and Cody Rhodes. That's mm -hmm. impressive. An yeah. hour he ain't been wrestling. I think he, they said he'd been out eight years. Now, yeah. he took about a good 12-minute break in it the middle of that match. That. Oh, I get it. it that was man was that. under the back. <laughs> the camera couldn't even find him. He was like, he been knocked down for 30 <laughs> minutes now. <Yeah. laughs> he was drinking water and stuff when he was under there. But uh, the under on the second night, The Undertaker came out. I seen that. Boy, me that and Melissa, good. that Did doom, it? Oh. doom yep. lost it. Oh. They turned the lights off and hit that first doom. That's we the only like, thing better than... <laughs> that's what we said. The only said. thing better than oh the glass breaking. That's Stone Cold that. Steve Glass Austin. cracking. It's yeah. Stone Cold. It's Stone Cold <laughs> with a walk up. Yeah, you, know, you hear that? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I mean, me, we might have well been eight years old. It was okay. fantastic. Now the Undertaker. You didn't watch wrestling as a kid? Uh, she when was I, at I, work. I, no, <laughs> I did, but I was more into glow. Oh, the, the show. The, the show glow? The, no, no, the women, actual women the wrestling. The women of wrestling, yeah. What, what oh, was I glow? Didn't, I didn't. The I women of wrestling it. or the, it was a, like a the program? The women of wrestling, yeah. The show on Netflix? It. No, they had that was, was a, a t- real. Oh, like it was like WWE. Yes, it was real. Oh, I didn't know. That. I didn't know I, until I didn't know that show. Out. I thought that show was just named that. Nah, no, 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 that, that existed. It happened. came on in Kentucky. It came on in the world. <laughs> never knew that. Can't think it's a local show. <laughs> I never, I've never <laughs> seen Glow. Yeah. yeah, it came on nah. in the world. Yeah, you know, wrestling used to be really regional. Yeah, back in the day. So I thought in your little podunk town in Kentucky, they only no, had the Glow. It was no, it was real. Okay, we was watching the real stuff. It was WWF. I mean, I watched that with Hulk Hogan, but that's yeah. all I remember. Uh, Hulk Hogan, we coming for you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that, that clip is funny. He was like, like oh, Hulk man. Hogan, we coming come for you. For you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Ah! But anyway, Undertaker choke slammed the rock, and that boy's knees did not bend no more. I don't know how he got in that ring or how he got out. But uh, that's why they had to do it. The lights go black, and he's standing there. He appeared, and then he disappeared. (laughs) (laughs) But no, it was super good because last year Cody Rhodes was supposed to win the championship. Everybody thought he was, and then he lost to Roman Reigns, and Roman Reigns was the champion for a whole nother calendar year. So Isaiah was convinced he was gonna Cody was gonna win. We was trying to sow discord and say he was gonna lose. Uh, He won, and although the results are like pre-planned. The emotion from them wrestlers Man. is 100% legit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, me and Melissa was talking about it. Like, why do you think they, like, they're, like, he was crying in the press conference. And I think it's because that is your chosen industry deciding you are the best yeah. at this. Yeah. And WWE is the pinnacle of wrestling, <laughs> I believe. Uh, and they did press conferences, and he was crying. His yeah. dad had never made it. It was, it was great. But um, it's a lot of wrestling. About seven and a half hours of wrestling. That's a lot. Uh, the black women was so black. Oh, so Jade good. and uh, Naomi Belair. and uh, Bianca Belair. Bianca be tw- twirling that weave yes, around. So good. Jade Cargill looks like an action figure. Yeah. She looks like a like a Greek goddess yes. of strength. She slammed that girl down on her face, <laughs> rolled her over like Cardi B and Meg, and did the LL Cool J hand lick. It was great. Um, the Usos is good. Yeet. Yeet. I hate that, but it's, it's so just good. me. Usos. No, is that them black parts. dudes? Them Samoans, Samoans blacks. Was, oh, the, the Samoans. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm thinking about the it's three black, they goofy. Oh, you talking oh. about a new day? Yeah, 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 yeah. They was yeah. wrestling too. Was it? It was a good time. It was they had ladders and stuff. People was falling. I don't follow wrestling now, but I've been seeing clips of this dude, R Truth. He. He be is ro- he hum- kills me, man. Marcus. Is he the one with the lock? He's yes. the one with the lock. Marcus, the man. Sh- I want to get him on the I, I ain't wrestling. <laughs> My bad. That's on me. Oh, Remember that clip I showed you? My bad, y'all. It's on me. I'm sorry. They did a six way <laughs> ladder match where you can't get pinned. You can't get yeah. spot. You have to get the ropes off the ladder. That's how you win. He pinned somebody, did it himself, two, three, and was like, Woo, I won, y'all. <laughs> I won. And his friend was like, "That's we got to get the thing." He was like, "Oh, oh, that's my bad. <laughs> that's my <laughs> bad." He always does funny stuff yeah. like yeah. that. Wrestling is really hard, but so is podcasting. <laughs> and let me tell you, trying to produce podcasts and prepping is so difficult, guys. I mean, ha! Huh, sometimes I'd rather wrestle. Uh, but let me tell you. If you know what else could be difficult, e-commerce. If you run an e-commerce business, you can relate to the amount of work it takes to produce something great. Like us, you want to optimize your workflow and reduce costs. ShipStation is a multi-carrier shipping solution that integrates whatever or wherever you sell online. When you optimize your shipping process and connect to a network of expert um, partners, you reclaim valuable time for what truly matters, growing your business. Um, What I have to say about ShipStation is that It is so easy, one, to integrate into your current um, e-commerce store, and it really automates everything into such an easy way. Automation is what's going to save you time. It makes you faster in your business, and it also gives you the reporting that you really want. 
So some things that you would absolutely love about ShipStation is that it's, it has an easy-to-use dashboard. So you're able to manage your orders, easily print um, shipping labels. You could do record, reporting as well as your customer service. Being able to actually give your customers the type of service they want is actually really easy from their dashboard. Um, you can import orders from anywhere you sell online. So it doesn't matter where you sell. You're going to get them orders over there. Scale your business. Reduce your warehouse costs. You will save thousands on shipping costs because they have discounts to up to 89% off UPS, DHL Express, and USPS services and rates. And over 130,000 companies have grown their e-commerce businesses using ShipStation. And 98% of those companies that stick with ShipStation for their first year for a year, become customers for life. ShipStation is an innovative tool that helps turn your shipping challenges into opportunities for growth. Go to ShipStation.com and use code TBTB, TBTB. TBTB. to sign up for your free 60-day trial. The ShipStation.com, code TBTB. 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 Hey, man, next time order me a boat. I didn't know you was coming. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, wrestling was uh, so great. definitely, it was fun. It was a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. uh, how was spring break for you guys with the kids? Um, we uh, had two weeks. One week yeah. I was uh still touring, so Marcus had. Yeah, had I was there. there with them. It was it was cool. It, they we didn't do a whole lot. Hold on, y'all. You what happened? Take your time. Some of the uh, yeah they yeah, had, uh, go ahead. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Uh, the biggest thing, the biggest things from the spring break was Marcus went to Europe with his grandmother and his friends, his uh, three other black boys from the school. Yeah, they Were they had a, in Paris. Yes, they yeah, and he's, he's still, he's still edit editing his, his video. I said, video. I want my video. Where's my video? From Niggas and Paris? Yes. yes. Oh, this is great. Yes. yes. Where exactly. are the new parents? He made them go back to the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> so he could finish it up because he was scared to record it the first time. And this this uh, whole trip was all to prove to the school that you ain't going to tell us that mm -hmm. black parents ain't going with their kids mm -hmm. to Europe. My wish, absolutely. And it was so great. I'm, I'm a fortunate, It's unfortunate Marcus didn't get to see this happen while they were at the Eiffel Tower. So my mother got the Eiffel Tower tickets, and they had a, she got a VIP one that had a tour guide that walked them through. And oh, they got to go up? Yeah, they went all the way up to the Oh, nice. Yes. So um, the school was there. At the same time? Uh-huh. At the same time. Uh -huh. at but same Marcus time. and my mom were going to go get the tour guide, and the school was like... Oh, not school. One of the moms was like, it's unfortunate they didn't have the VIP tour that we had. Yeah. They just mm -hmm. had to do was, it the regular yeah. way. They was down there waiting in line, and they were like, oh, yeah, we just waiting on the guide. Are y'all on the ground at the bottom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. um, but oh, they went Make sure to dodge my spit. <laughs> <laughs> they went to London, Paris, south of France, Monaco, and Italy. Nice. So they had a good five countries in one spring break. Yeah. I mean, look at the new black parents. That's yeah. fantastic. Oh, it's crazy. We was in the house playing video games, or we was outside. <laughs> exactly. Just we was riding day. bikes. Yes. That's how we was doing. We, all we did is not go to school. Nothing about our life changed. <laughs> I see. I saw a. Uh, I think it was on. I don't know, probably TikTok. The dude from I don't know. He's from somewhere in Europe. He was like people think that Americans aren't well traveled. He said they are. He's talking in a thick accent. They are world traveled. He said I can get from London to Paris, to Italy. I can get to all these places in a matter of hours. He said, there are states in the U.S. that you can't get through in hours. He was like, every state is its own country. 1, Stop thinking that Americans, he said, they travel within their own country. So uh, somebody said, just, I saw TikTok <laughs> just like that. The dude said, if you drove from uh, like L.A. to Atlanta, how long would it take you? Like if you put the United States in Europe. Days. It would be like from Italy to like the Middle East or like yeah. Russia. It was like, because <laughs> in when we go to Europe, a two or three hour train ride from yeah. London or Paris, you could, or a flight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can be almost anywhere yeah. in Europe. Two or three hour train, plane ride or train ride from here, you're still just you're in, in the, the middle Midwest. of America. Yeah, the fact <laughs> that you could like visit the entire, that Germany, all of those places in a two week period, let you know how oh, it's small over here. He said, he, his other thing. He said, and everything's the same. Yes. He said, everything's the same. He said, if you go from LA to Tennessee, it's a completely different country. Yes. <laughs> the flight from Boston to LA is six hours. The flight from New York to London is six hours. Sure is. Yeah. That's how big America is. Jeez, yeah. the people from Hawaii, Japanese people are the majority tourists in Hawaii. That's yeah. how far Hawaii is from America. Uh, right. It's a long <laughs> flight from LA. Yeah, it's the right there. from Japan yeah. almost. Yeah. My mother had so to hush. My mother had to flex on the uh, train people. So we the, we bought the URL passes. 
And then when they got there to make their, like, the actual reservation, they were like, you all can't use these until the 6th. There's no seats left. They're supposed to be back on April 3rd. They're saying there's no seats until, until the six. April 6th. My mom was like, why would y'all sell us these passes if they couldn't be used in the time frame? The woman was like, there's no seats. My mother said, "There's abs- you tell me there's no seats. The woman was like, well, there's only seats in business class, but that would cost you more money. My mother pulled out her card so fast and said, book us all Do you on think that. we're broke? Yeah, that's yeah. what she was yeah. like. She was like, book see, you, you. I didn't ask there? you about the price. I yeah, I asked right. you, were there seats? Don't assume what I said. I said, that's right. Flex on them people, yeah. mama. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm driving the train now. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a yeah. I'm a press go. All you, all you got to do is go straight. <laughs> right. Can't turn left or right. <laughs> yeah, but we, we was telling Marcus before they went, we was like, we this should seem normal to y'all. We want y'all to think yes. it's normal to travel outside the country. I said, because ain't nobody in your family been, but... Your aunt and your uncle. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So <laughs> yeah. hopefully we're going to Europe later this year so yeah. we can be like, we went to Europe as well and not just our child. Yeah, yeah. and then the twins, we finished up this spring break. The twins uh, celebrated uh, their friend's birthday at Legoland. So I took them on Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. And I told them they had a surprise. I didn't tell them where we were going. Smart. I didn't tell them that we were going. I said, tomorrow morning, I'm going to wake y'all up and we leaving the house. You need to dress a little warm because it's going to be a little chilly. We're going to be outside all day. So we're going to take a shower tonight and wake up in the morning. I was like, okay. So we get there, and I'm like, they finally say, oh, we're going to Legoland. Yeah, I said, we still got one more surprise. I said, but we're going to see you in a minute So because we got there before the other family. So they text us when we get there. We walk over there to where they at. The kids run up. They hug each other. You know, they ain't seen each other all spring mm-hmm. break. They hug. And, oh, my God. So we walking out of the store. They All the kids, all right, bye. See you later. I'm like, no, y'all, we hanging with them. Like, so you thought the surprise was sitting at the store. Oh, all right, that's great. <laughs> Listen, I love that they were yeah. like, nice. Yeah, good to see you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, pick yeah. up, son. <laughs> see you later. But, uh, nah, they, them boys, they, we gave them the maps, and they figured out what they wanted to do. It was like, all right, they had the time. But Twins was, are nine? Or eight? Yeah, yeah, nine. Nine? Yeah. They're going to be double digits? They about to be mm-hmm. double digits next year, but they about to be double digits. Then we got a Mars graduation date from kindergarten. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not kindergarten, from preschool. Preschool. And you're going right into politics. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. He's about to be the president. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, lovely, lovely, lovely. Anything else on that? No. Nah. Mm-hmm. All right, moving on to guilty pleasure confessions. I have two. I will start. Please. Yes. Okay, the first one is I got, uh, have you guys heard of this show on Netflix called The Magic Prank Show? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's freaking fantastically, hilariously, badly funny. So it is um, a guy named Justin. Hold Timberlake. on. Barney. Magic prank show. Justin William. Ooh, Willman. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. His name is Justin <laughs> Willman. He is a musician. Okay. And he, on the show, think of like a magic show meets. What's the Ashton Kutcher show? Uh, punk. Okay. Pank, prank, punk. All this show. That show. Imagine those two shows coming together to make one show, uh-huh. and that's what this show is. It's like them two dudes on Instagram. Have you Ooh. seen uh, Siegfried in Fraud? Oh, the dude they dress in these real flashy suits and they <laughs> fraud is they I'll do these disappearing acts. But they do magic tricks. It's that so aren't obvious that, that the earth, that the person oh. like they do one. They hold up the blanket. And it's two up, and then it drops. You just see one, but you can see the other dude on the other oh, guy's hilarious. back yes. hiding. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> and it's turned into this big phenomenon. Like, they got entire, like, audiences, like, oh, wow. catering to it That's now. That's funny. But go, tell us about the so show. So the show is, um, he starts off, like, pranking people. So, for example, sure. one of the guys, there's a, a gay couple on there, and the guy comments on on Justin the Magician's Instagram or Facebook, whatever, social media, and he's like, I wish you could make my, my husband disappear. So the musician contacts the husband uh-huh. and they concoct this plan to make him disappear. But the way that they do it is so cruel that it's hard to laugh, but oh, then no. it's funny. So they're <laughs> out on a date, you know, on this date and the husband sits down, the one that's in on the joke sits down with this, you know, woman that's planted or whatever. And, um, the, the other husband's in line, you know, they're at a, like a fair or something like that. And they, he goes, gets food. He comes back to the table. And he's like, um, the girl's like, yeah, I was stood up, so I'm going to be your third one, like just kind of being friendly. And then the husband that's in on the joke is like, uh, I have to use the bathroom. So he goes into a porta potty and there's these like construction workers over there. And he's like, um, the, the, the woman is like, hey, someone's in there because she could see there's like working on the porta potty. He's like, hey, someone's in there. Someone's in there. Someone's in there. All of a sudden it blows up. What? Oh, dang. Yes. 
So the husband, the dude's name is Jericho, white dude, fool's name is Jericho. He's like, Jericho. He's like running over there like frantic. Right. So he goes over and the, the, the porta potty collapses. There's no body, no blood, no nothing. So you could see his mind being like, I, what just happened? Oh, no. Because <laughs> my husband horrible. is missing. Yes. And that's why it gets like funny but like kind of cruel. Yeah, I don't that's exactly definitely know. Cruel. Yes. So he's like panicked, but he's like in like freeze mode. So mm. he's like just really weird. So anyway, the husband eventually comes out and he kind of calms down, but he's still in shock. And it's like, I don't, I feel like maybe I should laugh, but like also maybe I shouldn't laugh. I'm so confused. So they do this other one and I watched like all six episodes. Okay. Or eight, four <laughs> episodes, whatever it is. So the last one, the dude signs up for a sleep study. This is when I watch with her. And it's not funny, but I tell you, I was like. <laughs> is it supposed it? to be funny? No, I don't know. That's why I don't know. <laughs> no. It's funny, so, but Melissa can't laugh her thing when she feels bad for because, people. Because, okay, he goes I into. He goes into. <laughs> by the way, do you guys believe in hypnosis? Do you believe you could be hypnotized? I don't know if I can, but I believe that it can happen for people. I don't know how I feel I about it. the same thing. I, I don't believe it until you do it to me. Yeah. Like that's that's usually the be person they be having look like a fool. I want to do it so, so I, bad, yeah. but I don't want you to get in my mind. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I don't do trust it. it. I well, that's do my it. thing. I, I don't do know. It. I feel like I want to do it just so I can know, like, so I know it's real. That's I, what I believe. As long as you have a gun to the person's head that is doing me so that they bring me out of it. <laughs> how I'm you cool. know they ain't going to do something to me? Well, you got to have one of things on your head or something. Don't let them get you. Okay, so he does this sleep study, okay, and... While he's asleep, they hypnotize him so he doesn't wake up, and they move the sleeping apparatus to this remote location. And so when he wakes up, they put him in this, like, shipping container, and there's, like, a TV, and the guy's like, you know, the world is on fire. Nobody knows what's going on. President Elon Musk has determined this. <laughs> All uh, this kind of stuff, yes. Uh, uh, so that's his face. He goes what? outside, and they have him planted in, like, this desert area. One of the guys he met while he was in the waiting room for the sleep study comes out, which is the magician, and he's like almost to tears, freaking out. Oh, like, I love oh it. my God, what is happening? Like, the world, like, what is going on? I don't know what's happening. The guy has no cell phone signal. Then all of a sudden, this thing lands, and the guy is like, put in this like astronaut costume i don't know he comes out and he's like i don't trust it i don't trust it step back he's like down on one knee like nervous uh -huh. like almost to tears and it's his brother and i'm just like but then it doesn't end there <laughs> they then rehypnotize him put him back to sleep and transport him back to the sleep study so then when he re-wakes up he's like what did happened? any of that happen? so now you don't know what's real yes he's like it was so real, but I'm still here. Uh -huh. I'm so confused. It was so great. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> My so bad one's a good one. Could, could you imagine, like, not knowing what's real? Yes. <laughs> Man, when I, that way, when I saw the, time. Listen, when I saw The Matrix the first time, I came outside, I said... Of course, yeah, yeah make We're looking, for the, looking like, for the black cat. Like, yeah, I was like, are you gonna glitch? If it wasn't for Jesus, I wouldn't know what it was. <laughs> this is what we thought you were talking about. Look, look at this, the, the idiots. It's called Siegfried and Joy. This is oh, the type of right. dumb stuff, yes, that they do. It is. Oh, where you can still see the person. <laughs> yes, <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> it's just stupid That's stuff funny. like that. I like Three Stooges type stuff. Yes, That's it's so crazy. dumb. Well, that was my that was my guilty pleasure. Last guilty pleasure is I I found Miss Tatiana Clark on TikTok. Oh man, she's the best. And she, if you haven't heard her do the Afro Beats version <laughs> oh, of SpongeBob. Oh yeah, with the per girl. I'm with like, the that sounds familiar. Yes. Yeah. Oh, SpongeBob SquarePants. I've been singing this nonstop, and I've been on if her you TikTok. Don't know her. You. Oh shoot, sorry. You might know her from this first. Oh, I didn't know that was her. Yeah, yeah her. Okay. That was Ken. Got it. So she did SpongeBob. It's so good. SpongeBob. This is praise and worship. Yes. Especially this next part she does. Their little run. Lift your hands toward heaven if you love them. Yeah. This part is really praise and worship. Listen, listen. That is praise and worship. Yeah, that, is. that run. She has a very light so voice. So beautiful. And I just was like, well, now I'm here.
Thanks so much. <laughs> and once TikTok's like, you like this? Every yes, person who ever yes. made a video using this, Man. we're going to show it to you. Yeah, so people started dancing my to TikTok. it. It's freaking fantastic. Uh, <laughs> my TikTok don't show me nothing I, I'm interested in. She's a good in. time. <laughs> she my is. TikTok? I can always say this. The only thing works harder on my behalf than um, TikTok is God. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> it's God and TikTok. No, my they TikTok. work for me. You said that is what they What I, they what I do about. like about my TikTok is it's constantly feeding me something random that I had no idea that I, if I want to see it or not. Oh, yeah. But it's just like, why Why aren't you showing me car stuff? Like, Uh-oh. why aren't you showing me? Like, we'll get like, to that. Walk, yeah, we're going to get to that. that. Watch this cat hold a saw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my guilty pleasure has been my goddaughter. I had just started uh, buying her. Us matching outfits. Oh, uh, Target had uh, uh, what's her name? Diana Vaughn. First, she's a white designer. I uh, can't remember her name, as you can tell. And uh, I got some of the outfits, and then I just so happened as I was leaving the section, I was like, "Is that a baby outfit in the same print?" I'm getting it. <laughs> so now me done. and Brave have three matching outfits. That's adorable. Yes. So that's my guilty pleasure is dressing this child like she's my own. And luckily, <laughs> Brisha understands. While God gave her this daughter, Brave is my answered prayer. So yes. we just go <laughs> we just go out to share, share this baby. You like that baby? She is the chillest child. Like little Marcus is hard to top. Brave is trying to go for his title. She just mm-hmm. be like, I, I ate and now I sleep. Oh, she's so precious. They're so fun at that age. They don't know how to drive or anything. No, <laughs> drive right out of your life, huh? I told Isaiah that. Well, you guys don't know that, but I told Isaiah that, that when he was driving the other day. I said, "You just raw. You just walking out of my life." And then I like went in the house and started bawling. I like literally started crying. I'm gonna have to tell y'all this story and just just hush. Isaiah was driving by himself because he got his license now. Mm-hmm. Right, so he's like, "Can I go to CVS?" And Melissa's like, "No, you, you, you let your dad go with you." No, just we're just not ready, right? So me and Melissa are freaking out, freaking out, freaking out. Josiah Fredericks, who is more my son than I ever believed, he was like, "What if a cop stops him? What if he's racist? What if a racist cop? What if a stops racist him? cop stops him and says, put your hands on the wheel?'" I said, "Why would oh, you do this?" The sweet karma. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he said she was oh, no smile. Torment no, kid. He was saying this. He wasn't yes. take, yeah, he said it straight no, up. With no smile. He said, "What do you get to the car crash?" And then when oh, Isaiah got to the CVS, he was like, he crashed. And it was a picture of Isaiah a picture, parked. And I didn't know he took the, he sent the picture. <laughs> so Joe says, uh, Joe, Isaiah just crashed. He just took a picture. My heart was in my stomach. Oh, no. I didn't recover for like 10 minutes. Oh, no. It was I like the magician liter- show. Yes, literally. <laughs> I was literally, he was all, they were laughing, joking, still having conversations. I was like, I. Yeah, see, what's going to happen is you're going to get in trouble. Yes, exactly. And Josh, that's your thing. You got to know when it's so not much, funny. And I, can't, I, I can't handle this. I said, you got to know when it's funny and when it's not funny. But it's also funny because it's not supposed to be funny. No, I was but you got to know that out. too. But it's not funny right now because your mom is scared. No, I'm I, I was, you in, I was crying. I'm surprised I Melissa didn't crying. physically I, fight him. Every day I tell him, you want me to knock you out so bad. <laughs> you want me but, to knock uh, you out? So listen, bad. I just can I just complain one more time? Okay, then we gonna go. You to need go to, to man. You got that, that pressure bus pipes. Complain, Marcus, kid. We we go to Philadelphia. The first night of WrestleMania is freezing. Okay, show sure us freezing. I bet all we have is hoodies and clothes and stuff. And it was like fifty degrees, but it was like wind chill feel like thirty nine. So then it's yeah. thirty nine. Yeah. So the next day, Melissa's like, it's not gonna happen again. We go to the mall. We buy. Basically tights. <laughs> Not another pants, birthday party. <laughs> Marcus. Everything. Hoodie. We got jackets. Beanies. Right? Do all all of us have a pair of tights to go underneath our pants, mm. a long sleeve shirt, a hoodie, which we already had, a jacket to go over that, and a beanie. Everybody has their clothes on. Josiah comes downstairs with just a t shirt on <laughs> and a jacket. We like after we after we I spent an him. hour and a half at the mall. Go put the stuff on. <laughs> He comes back, puts a hoodie on. We get the thing. He was like, I forgot to put the tights on. We're like, you know what? <laughs> then just freeze. Because what do you think we spent all day going to a Philadelphia mall? And also, another thing about America, we go to the mall from Philadelphia. We put in the nearest mall, Melissa Picks, Cherry Hill Mall. We are in New Jersey. We sure were. Yeah, I bet. They said, what? Camden? We sure were. <laughs> we was only on the road for 12 minutes. That's They're Europe. Like, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. Europe. I said we done crossed into Austria. Yeah, when you get over there towards, as you go towards New England, everything get real. Man, it be over quick. I said we in New Jersey. Yeah, it was populated first. It's designed just like Europe. It really is. And you can tell. 
want to be the smart man. It is. <laughs> yeah, no, American didn't right. have no That's originality, true. so they got to California. They was yeah. like, all them first cities. <laughs> There's a, yeah, a French version same. of that. <laughs> Once we get out here, just make everything a box and make it big. Yeah. <laughs> See, we, ain't, we ain't doing these borders no all more. The, all the uh, yep. architecture. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's your guilty pleasure? What's your guilty pleasure? Uh, the thing is ringing at the top of my mind, right? Because I was sitting here trying to think. Amazon. Mm. That's your guilty pleasure? Tell the truth about yourself. First of all, Angel. Angel <laughs> Tell thinks, the truth about yourself. You already talked. I know. I just am encouraging you, <laughs> Angel. No, no, no. Tell no, no, about no, no, your no. Guilty pleasure. I was just encouraging you on this. Angel definitely gets a lot more packages than I do. <laughs> she would because it's Tell always truth, an occasion. Marcus. Tell the whole Tell truth. Well, no, it's the deltas. Well, no, I got to do the mom, the mom. <laughs> no, I got to do the kids. But it's always a bunch of crap coming in anyway. <laughs> It'd be for other people. You get stuff for yourself. You Go damn ahead. right. Because I love myself. <laughs> um, he does anything. That I'm trying to do, I first go look on Amazon. Yes, of course. And when I don't, I end up regretting it. Yes. Because it's like, I could have just got this on Amazon. I didn't have to wait three weeks. Yes. It could have got here at eight o'clock if I ordered it at two. Also, (laughs) capitalism is very bad, except when you click on that Amazon, you say order in the next three seconds, it'll be in your house in five minutes. I'll be like, I'm sorry, warehouse worker. I (laughs) need it. I don't know I'll how be y'all set, get it to me this fast. Kevin, I will order the stuff, and somebody beside me is like, here. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but it feels and like. And it's going to spoil me, because when it's something that Amazon don't provide, like, y'all know, men the cars and stuff. So I'm like, ordering a part, got to get custom springs made. This is like, what you mean this is going to take two weeks? Two weeks? Two weeks? What is this, 1906? Yeah, I understand. <laughs> change my mind, buddy. I'm telling you. I'm is like, the look. Is coming on horseback? It's like, yeah, you got to custom make them. You got to put the iron together, put it in the machine, and calculate it out so it's the right spring rate. Why can't you do that within a few hours and have it to me by tomorrow? Why couldn't you anticipate that this is what I was going to need and therefore have it already on the Come shelf on. so that way it would be at my house between 12 a.m. and 3 a.m.? Amazon would. Exactly. exactly. Amazon would. I'm so glad you're admitting this. What else you been ordering on you? Amazon? Why won't you? Angel? He orders clothes on Amazon. Oh, the you sweatpants. Oh, oh, you yeah. indeed. Oh, you the sweatpants. Clothes? Oh my God! <laughs> you can get a three pack for like twelve dollars. I'm like, I don't care if I mess these sweatpants up. You know what's crazy about them too? Their return policy. I didn't know this. Until Melissa told yeah. me. Oh, when you return it, when you scan it at the post office, oh. the money go. They be like. Here, no. I said I didn't even got in my car yet. We trust you. Also, we have trillions the of post dollars. Office, right. It don't really matter. The post office. We go to Coles. We drop it off at Coles. You don't even have to put it back in a package. No, no, no. I do UPS. You go to you, Coles. Yes, yeah. Kevin. The Coles. package, the plastic. You go. Know, it comes in a box. You yep. open up the box. The plastic that the sweatpants are in. You go there. Yes. You sure can. I don't want this and just throw it at them. <laughs> do they buy the? And then Coles give you cold no. cash. No, no you they're, cold they're cash? Yes. I didn't know they give you cold yes. cash for it every oh, well, they time. Give you, no, it's not cold cash. It gives you like thirty percent off your next purchase. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh-huh. Coles is already eighty five percent off. Return that Coles. I, every Coles, uh-huh. the whole store. Coles does not want you anything from Amazon. Oh, yeah. Not just Kohl's is Everything. what J.C. Penney's used to be. Yeah, yeah Penny's ain't Penny anymore. Oh, Penny's, Penny's is not Mama what says, it used to Penny's? be. Penny's yeah. ain't been doing what Penny's used J.C. to do. J.C. Penney's not the same no more. The re- once that I realize how easy the return policy is, I'm like, oh, you can't hold me. Back. I return everything. Oh yeah, Every I'll buy anything in return. Oh, I me, I, lo- I I buy stuff just to look at. I just want to see what the material was like. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. This is nice. Uh huh. Oh. Hey. Pretty soon Amazon will be like, hand it back to the mailman and, and scan him. And, you know what? <laughs> to be honest, if he could say, it, let me just open this. I just wanted to see it. Yeah. Okay, you can take it back. You can take it back. <laughs> I didn't really want it. I yeah. never, I hardly ever return anything ever. I return so much stuff. Yes, I know. Hello, relax. Uh, Just what? the violence. I Just know. Unnecessary. It's violence. not that she is a decisive woman, but likes to get all the facts first. Correct. It, it correct. And see, that's reframing your thinking. That's one of the practical pieces of advice that I got from masterclass. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> from Ava, Ava Duvernay. See, listen. Let me tell you something. I, uh, I talk. To a lot of amazing people, especially the people on this podcast. But if you like me, you sometimes you want to be able to go deeper, right? Because we only own here for like four to five minutes, but sometimes we don't get a chance to go deeper. So where can you learn from the most remarkable people? 
That's master class. This year, learn from the best to become your best with master class. Don't just talk about improving. Master class helps you actually do it. Master class offers 180 world class instructors. So whether you want to master it, um, master negotiation with Chris Vos. Uh, think like a boss like Martha Stewart or like I said reframe your thinking like Ava Ava DuVernay Masterclass has got you covered with Masterclass you get unlimited access to one-on-one classes with the world's best there are over 200 classes to pick from with new classes added every month like let me tell you gut health um, you can also do win big in business with Mark Cuban there are just so many amazing classes that they are offering, um, and you don't want to miss out. Plus, every new membership comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk. And right now, our listeners will get an additional 15% off an annual membership at masterclass.com slash bald. Bald. Get 15% off right now at masterclass.com slash bald. 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 Masterclass.com slash bald. Bald. They said which uh, brand of sweatpants you get, uh, Marcus, that's long enough, tall enough, long enough. Um, it's it two different. Hold on. Let me go to my recently ordered. Come oh, on. man, I love that. <laughs> Have you started I your subscription service on Amazon? We haven't done that with anything. And there's certain stuff that we possibly should do it on because there are certain things that I feel like we buy. You know what? There's certain stuff that I think we should switch over to Amazon on. Like some of the... we. The, our twins, they wear nighttime underwear to just prevent any accidents in the bed. We need to just do that on. We'll show we'll y'all the, the random stuff. stuff. Hold up, hold up. That's mine. Uh huh. The next thing. That's is a, yours. That, then the next one, Angel, Angel. Well, they, Angel. they just right, shut up, shut up. It wasn't Angel, for me. Angel, Angel, Angel. Who, who, who's all that red stuff? I can't Angel, I Angel. See what it is? Two, Nineteen thirteen. That, that ain't got nothing Amazon to do with me. Account? Angel, yeah. Angel. Angel. No, no, no. Oh, oh, that's me. Right. That's me. But none of that stuff that's me. was for me. Angel. That says Angel. Refi- Come on. Re- I, I, return. This is the only thing I got. It don't return. matter if it's return. We ain't talking about what's return. You talking about I what's actually, order. I don't want to play this game because <laughs> I feel like it might come Hold on. Let me find my sweatpants. I don't want to play that game. Me and Melissa have separate uh, Amazon. What I found on there is uh, that, that subscription thing. When your air filter go out. They just, it will be right there when you need it. Mm-hmm. Paper towels, stuff that you know you're going to use towels, all the time. That's what I'm saying. Tissue. We need to start doing is yeah. those things. Uh, That's why he's going to space. I mean, not grocery bag. What do they call it? Trash bags. All that I have on subscription. Yeah. So, uh, do we have our trash floss. bags on subscription? Look at you. Uh, what, what are you nah, tracking? No, we ain't got the, I'm, my food. Oh, I was like, what are you tracking? We, uh, yeah, we use Amazon probably way too much, but I, I I think do. we all do as Americans. I what? Think. Can't get we in front have of- it, We share an account, and then our assistant has an account. So mm. she'd be ordering stuff for us. Me like, and Melissa got se- separate accounts. And it'd be easier to find my <laughs> order. Because I'd be using stuff. And then I'd be like, if I got on Amazon, I know I could be like, let me go back. I know this broke. I need another one. Uh-huh. Just go through my order history. Click oh, it right there. If you find it on the thing, it'd be like last ordered September 2020. Man, this is the only like, way I know my kid's you. shoe size. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Because Amar, it's hard for me, especially Amar <laughs> and the twins. Because you know how... Little kids' shoes, the number is higher. Yes. Then when they cross over to kind yep. size age, the number is back Sorry. down. Yeah. It, I don't have time to memorize all that. Right. Don't bring me your feet. It's just Amazon. You know my baby. Yes, uh, it's for the little one. Get his shoes, please. <laughs> Even now for the boys. You wear a ten or a ten and a half. It's Every cut, time you we need tell to me. Them. Little Marcus's feet won't. He's in a like a thirteen now. Oh. I said, where are we going? Yes. With these skis. <laughs> With you, that's adult sizes, Sick which is adult it. prices. Yes. Luckily, adult he don't care about shoes prices. like that. Thank God. Woo. My kids used to be like that, and then they started caring. And then they started caring. I know. Once I, I saw your child with hair, that JoJo with twists, I didn't even, first of all, I didn't even look at the face. I said, I oh, know. look at Isaiah. It's so cute. And though, then I looked, looked, and I said, wait, this Joe is a different him. child. And he warmed the to school today. Oh, he didn't take it out? He didn't take him out. What is he going on? He came downstairs, and I, I don't know. totally forgot he had his He's hair a little brother. He Joe's a little brother. He, he said, I gave you enough time to have that hairstyle yeah. by yourself. Yes, he did. Here and I he come. Lucky, yep. He only didn't have it longer because uh, the appointment got mis- messed up the last time. Otherwise, he would have been had it yeah. on whatever the break they had before. Christmas, Christmas break. Christmas, yeah. 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 Um, okay, so anything else on that? Y'all, listen, I'm about to encourage y'all. Do returns. Get your money back. Oh, I, this is my if favorite thing to do. you don't like it, Get your money back. If you don't like that man, return him. Hello? Mm-hmm. Come on. He ain't I'm, dicking you down like you want Oh, well, that's not what I was about to say. But um, I don't like to do, uh, I don't like to try on clothes in the store no more. I'm too big. 
Okay, let me be in the comfort of my home where there's a fan because I start sweating after so long. It's like an aerobic sport trying to put on clothes. So I always buy the clothes, take them home, and then I return what I don't want. Return. Mm. Y'all do the returns. It's really, it, once you get into a practice, it's really not everybody. It's always a lot. It's not really. It's not Most of the time, you press a button, and then they'll email you the little receipt thing, and then that's it. That's all. Mm. I was not, I was so anti-return until Melissa showed me how easy it was, because I would just buy stuff and then be like, well. And mm. all the places are by my house. We got uh, UPS is over there. Yeah. USPS is right there. You can do all We got it. Whole Foods right there. We got an Amazon Whole Oh, yep. Amazon Fresh, child, I'll be real quick. What she had did? What, Marcus, you gonna complain in the mic, babe? Yeah. Okay. And that drink look good. Is that that Blackberry? Um, yeah, get your money back. No, you talking about the one with this the, the other thing. When you don't do it, all no, you gonna do is gonna sit in your closet, and then in and then mid year when you do your uh, clean out, you gonna find it. No, you didn't want it to begin yes. with. You gonna throw it away then. Don't throw your money in the trash. Return Give it back it. to Amazon so you can buy more Return stuff. Return it. Ma'am, speaking of closets, your closet Almost looks done. phenomenal. Thank you. That wasn't done? What I saw? <laughs> I said, Kevin, where is this in the house? I think that's a great use of that room. Thank you. I'm very excited about it. Are you going to film content in there, too? Yes, that is the goal. That's what uh, Christine, Miss Christine, does. Who's Christine. Uh, curvy trendy me and you oh her yes, went out yes, to, yes 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 she yes, turned yes, her yes. closet her closet is it. also where she, she should so yes. fire yeah yeah yeah. shayla has that too she sure does make up shayla uh-huh yeah, she uh-huh does. she's a gorgeous girl <laughs> yes uh-huh. Um, uh-huh. Uh, is you finna complain or is we finna move on now nah, nah, get a little complain now you know pressure yeah. bumps pipes you know y'all we got a gate that you got to pull up you push the button yes this woman of course she ain't from here don't know where she's from thanks she's from somewhere in europe i knew it she pull up so close, her the front of her car is under the arm. <laughs> you know, you far past the t- you past the ticket booth at that point. Mm-hmm. She calls me. I can't get in. It's barrier. It's yeah. barrier. Can't get in, <laughs> lady. Ah. The Press parking the, the parking people were even frustrated. It was like the buttons back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have card to get in. She's trying to put her hand inside the booth. <laughs> oh, girl, you doing a lot. <laughs> It's so funny because people always don't want to deliver here because they'd be like, once I pay for this ticket, I got to pay. Yeah, like that's they like that's my <laughs> tip that you might not even gave me. <laughs> they're not trying to do they, it. They're not trying to get it. Don't get it from here. Don't get it from me right here. Huh? Yeah, I did too. Did you get a drink? Oh, I did. But you, you if I got the strawberry one, I think. I got a strawberry fresca or something. <laughs> uh, I got a <laughs> wild berry lemonade. I, only, I saw, did you order a drink? Yeah. You can have it. I'm not, I ordered I got a drink water too. Anyway. I ordered that one that's darker. I only darker. saw one in it's the fine. thing. I only saw I one of the, those drinks the in the thing. One. The one with the mint? Give me, give me the one with I'll the purple. I'll tell you. One. Actually, I think I did get I don't know. I got to look at the picture. That that purple thing, I think, the, is mine. The, the lighter one. Yeah. This is, there was only one it. of the lighter ones in the, the thing. Then that would be yours. Okay. You sure you don't want it, Joshua? When I ordered, there was two things, and when I added, it was third. So I don't know what number that was. No, no, no. I didn't mind that. Oh. Fruit, I did. Cause just sat it down. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. All right, we're moving on. We're going to uh, 40 Years of Hugs and Hindsight. We got two questions we will answer. Uh, Kev, we'll start with you so they can get situated with the food. You ready? Here we mm-hmm. go. What advice do you have for newlyweds? I got a good one. Man. I got a good one if you want to think, because I haven't started eating yet. Okay. Go ahead, Angel. Keep folk, especially your family, God out your business. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the blessings that me and Marcus had is that we we got married while we, we got married in Kentucky, but we were living in California and no one lived here. None of our family, um, which allowed us to decide if we ever wanted to bring anyone into our like either marital bliss or marital problems which allowed us to create our own rules around marriage, allowed us to define how we felt about certain things happening in our marriage. And while I'm not saying you can't learn from others and that there aren't people that have amazing advice that can help you, you need to decide how you want to protect the bubble that is you and your spouse. So I feel like the reason why we haven't had as many bumps as I think we would have thought we would have had in marriage is because Probably sometimes we were even unaware that we were having bumps because we were just like, this is just us. And mm-hmm. there was nobody being like, uh-uh, girl, you shouldn't. Or uh, Marcus, she did wrong. There was uh, none of that. And then we were able to define, like, 
this is how we want our stuff to go. So that would be my my advice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good advice. Thank you. Kib, you think of yours? Read the book Marriage Be Hard. Absolutely. There's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, advice should be filtered based on your partner. A lot of times, I, I'm just speaking for myself, Kevin, I would hear advice from people's marriages that I admired, and I would try to apply it direct to my wife, even though the people giving it to me were giving it to me based on their relationship with their partner. Mm -hmm. And I would try to apply it verbatim to Melissa. I use this example a lot. My pastor was like, you want to get the draws? You got to buy our gift. So I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's how you get the draws or whatever. And that's what worked for him and his wife. And I remember the first time I did this is when Melissa uh, was taking over the bills, like paying stuff, because I paid my bills good by myself, but then I had her bills, my bills, our bills. I was like, this, this a lot. there's a lot of dates to remember. And uh, <laughs> she took over the bills and got us uh, more on track. And I remember this deacon, I always tell the story, but I don't care. This podcast almost over anyway. Um, this deacon <laughs> was like, if you was a real man, you would take, you would pay the bills. You would bring in the bacon. You would pay. At this time, Melissa made more than me, and she paid the bills. But I put my money in, mm-hmm. and I remember being like, "Well, I'm just, I'm not gonna be the man you are." But this is what works for us. And they actually got divorced. I'm not even like being petty. Sure they ended up getting divorced, mm-hmm. and I remember being like, "Bro, you, you, you can say whatever you want to me, but this is what works for me in my house." And I think a lot of times, in social media era, more I, I see this a lot. People try to live their relationship for the approval of social media and be like J. Cole, man. Do what's best for you and your peace. Mm-hmm. You cannot live your life for the appeasement and approval of strangers or friends or family on social media. Do what makes you and your family work and don't make a big deal. Last thing I'll say, there's always this big debate about should women make your plate? If your woman don't make your plate, that she ain't your woman. I don't care about that. I have, my, my mom didn't make plates. She made food. And when we were hungry, we went and made us a plate. It never made me know, never mind. So I didn't try to take on an internet argument in my real life. I was appreciative that the food was there and a cookout in our home at a party. I never made no big deal about stuff that didn't really bother me. I think sometimes people pick up the traits of other relationships and make them their own and they don't need to be. Mm-hmm. All right. Very good. But most, most importantly, by marriage be hard. New um, this absolutely. That's going to change yeah. your life. Go ahead. Because what uh, you want to do is fuck you, kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, so after y'all apply all that stuff, I would say uh, you have to be flexible. Mm-hmm. You can't be rigid. Uh, when you're rigid in a marriage, it's people grow, people change, especially in the beginning. Uh, a lot of people, it, it can go both ways. People think, oh, but once we get married, everything's going to change. That's yeah. not necessarily the case at yeah. all. <laughs> Over time, yes, people do change. Yeah. You're going to change whether you're married or not. But don't think if things are rocky and you're having trouble with dating, don't think it's going to magically make it better. Uh, but when you do get married, you got to be ready to be flexible. You can't be rigid. That's just simple as that. Yes. Good very advice. good, baby. Good, very good. I answer. just want to add to that, Marcus, if, if you don't mind. I do. You got to be flexible with your partner to change and maybe even change back. Right. Mm-hmm. Change two or three times. And I know one thing I was guilty on early in marriage. Whatever Melissa used to be, whatever used to work, if it was easier for me, I, I want to go back to that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you are married to the current version of your spouse. Right. Not previous version, not the future version. Not what you wish, not what you want. You are married to this version today. So be flexible enough to love them right now. I mean, uh, yeah, flexible enough to love them right now, but be open enough that in two or three years from now, it might change. And that might not be, a lot of times that changed because you have kids, new mm-hmm. job, your kids grow up. But sometimes n- none of that stuff has changed. Your, your partner just is different now or needs more from you in this era, needs something different from you. So I think you just need to be open to, Letting go of the past in that way. That yeah. makes sense. Even like with my, uh, I think about me and Marcus. When we first got married, we could do everything separate. And there was no, like, issue about it. We There was very few things that we did together other than watch certain TV shows. Now that Marcus has a different career, Marcus is like, where are you going? 
Mm-hmm. And why am I not going with you? Mm-hmm. And this yeah, was a I was happy new- just be trying to be gone all the time. And he'd be like, where are you going? And I, because at one point in time, <laughs> just be the to be mom or the Delta or the baby. At one point in time, he was working so much. If I, <laughs> I had to feel, I was, and then also there were things that like, I was interested in that he wasn't. So I wasn't trying to force him into those things. And he's like, no, I'm coming mm-hmm. with you. So come on. Uh, Some so, stuff changed though. You don't do the musical and plays like you used to. I do it more now, I think. You went to see The Wiz with me? You uh, That's it. No, you've gone to see Hamilton with me? Sir. I wanted to see Hamilton. My- <laughs> Girl, just to let him be right. <laughs> like, no, but it's like, no, because... You don't do all the music. But, but no, the, the musicals Wiz, you used to go that. see back when you and Wendell used to go was not these type of musicals. Yes, they or were. Or plays. Yes, they were. They oh, were at world. the Pantages. Sometimes you got to let your partner be right. And Because <laughs> he's a damn lie. Uh, the... the they were at the Pantages. We went to go see, uh, what's that, Lin Manuel? Uh, I was about to say, I like In the Heights? Heights. In the Heights? In the Heights. We saw I have no desire Dorothy to see movie. it. Not that Dorothy, the woman, Diane, the one that we went to go see Rebecca in, also there. That's because Rebecca was in it. <laughs> but, but do you not hear how I'm making I'm just saying, plays? Right. Angel, but you ain't, you know what he's saying. She don't. <laughs> <laughs> the man got his qualifiers right. and they're qualified. No. Anyways, he goes to these more willingly with me now. I'd be shocked because at first I would, a lot of times I wouldn't even ask him. And now I'm like, hey, you want to go with this? And his answer be yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all I was saying. The answer is go. yes. Okay, go here. Yeah, I think that the, these are very good. This is why we have 40 years between all of us. Uh, <laughs> the next question, uh, before we close out, tips to improve communication. The person says we misunderstand each other a lot. Tips to improve communication. What are your tips to improve communication? Okay, I'm going to throw one out. This is a good one that my friend gave me. He was not even married. And he wasn't even. it wasn't even to marriage. He just had applied it to his life. He said, one thing that's helped him communicate better is assume that the person you're communicating with has good intentions. Mm -hmm, That's the truth. He said, a lot of times we filter things based on how we feel, what we think, what we think they might be saying. And if you assume they have good intentions and didn't mean you no ill will and approach it that way, it makes it a lot um, easier. And I found that um, in life, not just in marriage, that's good. And also, especially me and Melissa, like, your, your mind, your actual mind will make you right and make them wrong. And giving, giving your partner more credit is, has been better for communication. Like I, like if I don't talk to Melissa and I'd be like, she did this and made me feel this way. And if I haven't talked to her about it, your mind will be like, mm-hmm, and she did it on purpose mm-hmm. and she never liked you. Mm-hmm. And remember her boyfriend from when y'all was 17, he still look at look at his Instagram and he still go be in shape. Like that's how your mind will be, right? That's how your mind will, your mind will write a book that's going to make it worse and worse and worse. But oftentimes, not every time, but oftentimes if you actually just say, we learned this, I don't remember where it must must have been love hour. Changing the phrasing from you said this to uh, I felt this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It changes how things uh, are because Melissa can speak to how I felt or I can speak to how she felt versus what she actually said. Cause a lot of times we interpret things based on how they make us feel, mm-hmm. especially me. I will rewrite what she actually said based mm-hmm. on how it makes me feel. And my mind will overwrite those words and say, you said X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. Melissa's really good about this. She'll be like, actually what I said. I say, okay, you do that with us. I do that. <laughs> One thing about me, I am the same yeah, yesterday, like, today, forevermore. The same version Whatever I felt, you said this verbatim. Mm-hmm. And you, and you, and you, and Josh, and Mel, and the babies, and the dog. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm 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 in it. But, um, yeah, I think that that has been very helpful for me, communication-wise. Very good. I've said this before, and I'll say it a million times. I give this advice to people all the time because it's the best advice out there my therapist ever gave me, especially concerning us, is a lead with your soft emotion. Mm-hmm. She said people are not trained to take on hard people's, I mean, people are not trained to take on other people's hard emotions. So if somebody comes at you and they're like, I'm mad at you, the other person is already going to jump onto the defense. Yeah. Because you, it feels like an attack, and we're we're not trained as society to just sit and take the attack a lot of times in a way that's actually going to be constructive. Mm-hmm. We either become a doormat, yep, um, or we get on the defensive and don't hear anything. So, getting before a lot of times, um, if we're not having to deal with it in real time, 
I, if I give myself the chance to actually process how I'm really feeling for him, Marcus, it's so much easier for him to take on what it is. So instead of me being like, I'm mad, I can feel, I can say, you know, I felt really um, reject, rejected by you when you said this thing. And it's easier for him to be like, oh, snap. Okay, yep. that wasn't my intention. This is actually what my intention is versus me just trying to um, explode, uh, transfer my hard energy onto him because that yep. just usually is not going to work. So I suggest everybody get that daggone emotion wheel. Oh, that was really helpful. Mm -hmm. And um, – and I really be looking at it and be like, well, which one of these <laughs> am I feeling at the center? Yeah, it's true. I am mad. It is true. I am angry. But let's let me get to the real specific thing mm -hmm. that I'm feeling right now. And it's best that I commute like I feel used that he's about to drink my drink <laughs> and not even ask me. Discard it. Oh, I love this. Huh? Take a big sip too, Marcus. See, see what <laughs> else you feel. I don't that. feel anything. And where is it? <laughs> and where is that in your body? No, it where's it would have been in my mouth, but, <laughs> <laughs> but right now it's in his. Yeah. Now it's in his. Uh, but yeah, I even I use that with my kids. I oh, try to good. use that with. <laughs> I'm annoyed. <laughs> really? Good. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I you don't just use this in in my. This relationship. The other thing about that, that takes more work. It does. Mm -hmm. It's so much easier to say you pissed me off. Absolutely. Yeah. It takes more patience, time, and introspection to say you made me feel this way when you did this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you really got to dig in. Because sometimes you got to be like, why did I feel this way? Because yeah. sometimes it actually has nothing to do with your partner. Correct. It's how you perceive, perceive things. things, childhood trauma, see the world, something that happened to you earlier that day, you were already irritated. And now you put it on them. Mm -hmm. And that requires more self-work. That's the thing about relationships. People greatly underestimate how much work it takes to even be in a healthy relationship. Yeah, like my dad didn't show up to a lot of things that I he said he would show up to. So I spent a lot of time looking back at the door, waiting to see if he would show up. So now if Marcus is like really late to something, I get overly annoyed. Even if it's not really late. He could be 10 minutes late. Mm -hmm. Because... I feel myself looking at the door often, which takes me back yeah. to young angel, angel staring at the door of someone who was never going to show up. And mm -hmm. and, 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 you, and you're doggone right. Listen. I did the same thing with Melissa. I had to, had to dig deep for myself. Mm -hmm. Say, well, you don't never be there. And she'd been there more than my own family was there. And then you just be like, you need to be at all my stuff. She's like, I have my own thing I want to do. <laughs> like, who who going to play for the little boy? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna cut to my basketball game? <laughs> you gotta fix for that. Like, hey but... man, we're 38 now. <laughs> you 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 just had a meeting in Hollywood. I ain't got to I got to pick them kids up. Okay. But who gonna cheer for me? <laughs> <laughs> who gonna cheer who for gonna me? Cheer for, who gonna cry for the little boy? <laughs> Stop doing that, man, like right, that. So what is that movie? Uh, Antoine Fisher. Antoine Fisher. Who's gonna cry for the little boy? Yeah, the little boy, yeah. <laughs> Derek Luke's list. Yeah. He's showing up. Yeah, who gonna cry for the little boy? <laughs> <laughs> What's your advice, Melissa? Um, what was the question? Mm. Oh, communication. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've deleted it. I have to remember. Uh, my advice for communication outside of everything you guys just said, absolutely 100% agree, is to get a therapist. Mm -hmm, uh, come on. And the reason why is because having a third party to interpret what you are trying to say that you just know you are saying, but you are missing the mark Man. is often extremely beneficial. Uh -huh. It's the difference between eating a coffee bean and putting it through a coffee filter <laughs> and drinking coffee. Yeah. <laughs> a coffee bean just biting it, not that good. No. It don't taste good. Bitter. But that therapist, boy, they go, she going and find, at least our woman, ours is a woman, she going and be like, now let me take that and process yeah. it, yeah. Mm -hmm. give it to care. Yeah. And I'll be like, okay, because I'm about to bite that bean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to bite that bean. <laughs> yeah. she, she does a, I mean, all, well, most therapists are, should be trained to do that, but it is very, uh, very, very helpful to have that person kind of no. take your words and then retell it. It's also helpful for your partner often mm -hmm. because they've heard you say it 3,000 times the wrong way, which is going to make them hear what they what mm -hmm. you didn't say and maybe yes. something you said before and mm -hmm. bring all this other stuff. So having that other person there to kind of like play that go-between and what our therapist actually does that's also really helpful is after you say it, then she says it. She'll say, now you tell him. 
Dog. <laughs> She'll say what you said. What I'm hearing is this. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Now you tell now him. You tell Girl, him. I done said it, and we yes. looking at each other on the Zoom. Yes. She's like, no, 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 no. Say, no, it out your mouth. say it again. Say it again. Turn to him. And, I'll be like, and say it again. What I said yes. is who go and it comes out board. completely different. Yes. It really does. It comes out completely different. So I definitely highly recommend getting that third party. I'm just going to add a little uh, like asterisk to the third party, right? Maybe not have it be your pastor. Oh, yes. Definitely not have it be your damn yes. pastor. Unless they are professionally trained. And I mean, listen, God does a lot of things, right? And he is supernatural and he can bestow a lot of anointings on people. I believe it to be true. But there are also um, <laughs> skill sets and interventions that professionals learn out of a book. Mm-hmm. And they, they take a test. Uh-huh. And then the state says, yes, you are good enough for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, it's Our audience, different. we know y'all pass it and do that. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> That's no shade or disrespect to the anointing they really, your pastor has. They, they have. have the best intentions. They, they do. do. They are just trying to help and I said this all the time. I want to give them some grace a lot of times. I'm, I'm giving the no, grace. No, no, I am. Because they, they're like, man, I don't know. I'm just trying to help. They're mm-hmm. doing the best they can. But the mother folks went to school. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they ain't even good. Yeah. So the old pastor is a preacher. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, look, hold up. Want- Somebody just said it. Uh, Cook said a non-religious pastor is so underrated. A non-religious therapist. Therapist, yeah. <laughs> God was like a novelist. Think about yeah. God is who needs him. I don't know. <laughs> no, not, 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 a, not anti-religious, but uh, non-religious. No, I, I agree because sometimes, that we, listen, we, I, I love God too. I love him. But, but I, yeah. I need, yeah, we need got a, to pray. We need I, a, I did that, I did that. A full educated, <laughs> yeah. specifically driven yeah. point of view of what this fool said and what <laughs> this fool said and make it make because sense to each I other. Sometimes I need carnal tools. And if you're only giving me spiritual ones, no, but in the in the car- flesh, I'm about to fight this. So you're going to have to help me with the carnal. So you got to pray for your husband. That's yeah, what's wrong yeah, yeah. with you. I'm going to get... pray for him, and then I'm going to beat his ass. Yeah. So I need and help. And now you're cussing. That's, that's the devil already in you. <laughs> uh-huh. Now get back in the kitchen and make his but play. Th- for real, you though, like... you need that You the, 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 the education be coming through. Yeah. Um, what I was about to say is that uh, somebody, Ernestine, said, this episode of The Love Hour is amazing. <laughs> 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 they were pissed when we stopped that too. Oh so, yeah, you all, y'all do that to them. Y'all be like, look at this, how I'm funny. On my J. Cole. I'm, I'm on my J. Cole. I'm on my Shonda Rhimes. Y'all build, y'all build a I'm restaurant, my... make the best dessert, and then close. Shonda Rhimes. <laughs> Don't fall in love with no characters because they gonna die in the next episode. <laughs> They're like, where is our Grey's Anatomy? Yes. <laughs> You're like, You're not gonna find it here. Sorry. Uh, you got something we can close out. Uh, uh, no, nah, I did a lot of talking. I don't know. Yeah, that's cool. We can we communication. Can kind of Come on, babe. Just be it. just be open. Yeah, just be open. That's good, Marcus. People say uh, be open and honest, but if you know your honesty is going to come off the wrong way, take time to think about it or do it through a third party. Because listen, Cause you can be honest and kind. Yeah. Honestly, don't have to be blunt. No, it don't. And rude and set with frustration. You can find. Melissa told me this one time in our marriage, and I said, "You, Kevin, you get it together right now." And I grabbed my own shirt and I, I yoked myself up. Mm-hmm. You wrinkled it she too. Said, no, and that's what I did. I took my own lunch money. She said, "If you love me, you can take some time to find out a nice way to say this. You won't have to just come at me crazy and and just give it to me." Cold cut raw. Right. And, and stop hiding behind one. That's just how I am. I just like to keep it real. No, that is a bullshit. lazy excuse for not yeah. taking the time to say something kind. Right. You I don't agree. do it at work. Yeah. Come on. You give a lot you of people a lot to, more a lot consideration more than the person that and you love And then you get pissed off at work and then come 100%. give it to your, 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 your spouse. Straight gasoline, no filter. <laughs> That coffee bean. You give that on. coffee bean, you'll be biting it. And you I want put it some that. sugar and some milk in that thing. Stir it up and make a pretty little foam decoration. <laughs> I don't even want to taste no coffee when I'm done with it. <laughs> I, I, know I, I don't. actually hate the way coffee tastes. But I'd I need hazelnut to mine. Exactly. Because <laughs> if you make it taste good, I'll still, I'll still drink it. I'll digest it. I'll, I'll digest it. And I'll, I'll be grateful, actually. <laughs> I'll so be like, nice. thank you so much for this <laughs> delicious drink you made me. <laughs> Ooh, was this coffee some, at some point in time? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all giving people beans with dirt in it. Take this coffee and shut the hell up. Hey, do you love me? No, yes no. or no? Keep my commandments. I agree. And that's all I got to say about that. I knew that's what you was going to do. I knew that's Marcus, what you were going to do. you are so crazy. I knew that's what you were going to do. All right, that's it. That's all. We see y'all next week. Bye.